Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, we've got the conspiracy theory from Philly 500 that um, Deion Sanders and his son could be the coaches and the quarterback for the Cowboys and that they're tanking. Be that Take that as you will. Take it as you will. Well, I, listen, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing you all the possibilities, okay? Now, today was interesting because we've got the owners meeting. We've got the new rules and stuff that are coming in and things. And I'm surprised that I haven't heard anything about, you know, we heard about the drop kick that's going to be outlawed. But what about the fumble going out of bounds in the end zone? That's one of those rules that really needs to change because the Eagles know they would have lost – to the Minnesota Vikings that literally had five uh, backup offensive linemen. If Justin Jefferson hadn't fumbled that ball from the one-yard line going out of bounds in the end zone it, before the half, they would have won that game. But be that as it may, be that as it may. Our coach, whose days may be number, who has no extension, no extension whatsoever, but well, yeah, he's no, no, nobody does, and they ain't signed nobody. So, if you are a conspiracy theorist, then this is for you. Mike McCarthy was on ESPN today saying we got better, the team got better. So we got all kinds of crazy shit. Okay, Jerry Jones and all that scribbling on the paper. We got no new additions, and Mike McCarthy thinks we got better, and um, we got. Michael Urban thinking Deion Sanders and his son are coming to Dallas. Such is the life of being a Dallas Cowboy fan. Let's go to the tape. A Dallas has signed one free agent from another team to an NFL deal. Just one. That would be linebacker Eric Hendricks. Adam Schefter had a chance to speak with their head coach, Mike McCarthy, at the owners' meetings earlier today. Mike, what's it been like for you to sit back this offseason and watch the New York Giants add players, the Washington Commanders add players, and the Philadelphia Eagles add players? Well, I have a lot of experience in not being active in veteran free agency, so I, I guess it uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me as much. But no, I, I think it's like anything, and it, it really is. I mean, you're working on your roster 365 days a year, and, and that's always been a reality. And I think as a coach, I've really always focused on the guys I know are going to be there uh, in, in the off-season program, because, you know, you really do have a chance to to improve as a football team. You know, I'm a big believer in a second or third year jump. You know, we have some young players. We got some guys coming back off of IR that were young players that we're excited about. So we are definitely improving. You know, we're just we're just not part of the uh, free agent market right now. So is that what Cowboys fans can hang their hat on? The fact that there are guys coming back that are going to be getting better because people keep waiting for the Cowboys to make moves. Well, I think that and also it's I mean, there's there's a lot there's a lot left. So, I mean, it's you know, you'll probably have a market right before the draft or post draft and then you got your June 1st market and, you know, obviously we'll have another draft class. So I have great confidence in our roster. Where is everything with Dak right now? Jerry's talked about this team going as far as Dak will take him. Dak restructured his contract, but it doesn't seem like there's been a lot of progress for an extension. Where is he at as we get ready for another season for the Dallas Cowboys? I mean, Dak, Dak is uh, uh, he's a machine. He's, he's so diligent in his offseason prep. Um, so he's he's already started his process, um, but yeah, he he's just getting ready to you know to perform and and connect with the you know with the young players. You know, I, I think it's you know just the, the landscape of how we have to train in the off season. Uh, it's important for your quarterback to have to have those you know those you know private workouts and things like that. So that's really where his mind is. It's just really how can we improve in year two of our offense? And you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, we need to be you know, a better complementary football team. You know, when the, when the defense isn't going well, the offense needs to pick up for them. And, and no difference when the offense isn't going well, the defense has to pick up for them. And, you know, I think this, if you look at our last game, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of compliment, you know, you know, complimentary football going on. Do you feel any added pressure going to the I, last I don't, because, I mean, I think as a coach, you really, you know, every year is this. I mean, it's the same. I mean, let's let's be honest. It's a... Uh, and that's the way it's always been. You know, this is uh, personally, I've been in this spot. This will be the third time. You know, and it's and it's worked out, you know, f very well for me. So uh, I'm 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 not really concerned about it. 
Right, and he joins us now from Orlando, uh, Adam Schefter, mm. uh, along with Mina Kimes, who's back. So, Schefter, you didn't really, McCarthy, talk about Dak's contract, more talked about the work he was putting in here in the offseason. So what can you tell us? Can you shed any light on where things stand with that? Well, Hen, I don't think the Dallas Cowboys and Dak have made a whole lot of progress towards the type of extension that many people have anticipated. Yes, they did restructure Dak's contract to free up some cap space, but in term, terms of the long-term deal that could potentially could get done at some point in time, no, that does not appear to be much, if any, closer right now. And so that would leave, if there's no deal done, Dak Prescott headed into the last year of his contract, Mike McCarthy headed into the last year of his contract, and it almost feels like the Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is challenging them as if their backs are against the wall to say, I want to see you what happens when you are in the last year, when the pressure's on. And before they commit to anything in terms of extensions, I think the Cowboys want these particular key individuals to this organization to prove it this season. Is it possible there could be even more drama and more pressure there in Dallas? I don't know, but listen, it looks like that could even ramp up uh, beyond what it usually is. And Mina, he doesn't seem worried, Mike McCarthy, about the lack of activity during the free agency period. What do you think is their most pressing need at this point? Because he's been here before. Uh, it, it's the same need that I mentioned for every other team in the NFC East, and that's the offensive line uh, with Tyron Smith moving on, Tyler Biotish. Yes, Tyler Smith, uh, the, who they drafted not that long ago, can play left tackle. But we're talking about a major transition on, and a line that has really been the strength of this Cowboys team for years. They've been very good at drafting and developing players, but because of the lack of activity in free agency, uh, I, I think there's a lot of pressure to hit on alignment in the draft. Similarly, I would say, you know, they need more help at wide receiver. Um, and this, obviously, Michael Gallup's gone. They're, you know, they still got CeeDee Lamb, who's fantastic, and they're going to have to pay. But you saw at times during games, Brandon Cooks wasn't quite the secondary option that they had hoped for. So you hear uh, Jerry Jones talk about Dak, and there's pressure on him to perform and earn that next contract. But candidly, I'm not sure they're putting Dak in a great position this yeah. year to perform. And if I was a Cowboys fan, I'd be questioning some of the decisions they've made. Especially without a running back, Mina. I mean, without a solid running game <laughs> to help what? Dak Prescott, Tony Pollard's yeah. gone. We kept waiting for a move there. Uh, what did McCarthy tell you, Adam, about their plans in that regard? Well, Hannah, you're talking about running back. Mina's talking about offensive line and wide receivers. So there's some major questions about some major positions and I asked Mike about the running back position and he pointed out the fact that he thought it was big that last week that this team re-signed Rico Dowdle and right now that seems to be where this team is putting its hopes now he did say that obviously they still could participate in free agency later and there are other running backs out there Dalvin Cook J.K. Dobbins Clyde Edwards Alaire there are some running backs that still are on the street right now looking for work and I don't think it would be a surprise if one of them wound up in Dallas but you're looking at a draft that's not considered deep at the running back position mm -hmm. so whether they choose to get more help through free agency or the draft it's going to be limited to a certain extent so it sounds like they're going to count on Rico Dowdle and Deuce Vaughn and some mm -hmm. of the players on their roster to take that next big step in this upcoming season where Dak and Mike McCarthy could very well be going into the last years of their deals. Wow. I don't even know what to say, y'all. I I, I, I I just don't know. I, I just don't know what to say. It's up. Uh, I'm going to go down to the workshop. I'm going to make some cabinet doors. And um, I'm just going to step away from the Cowboys for a minute. I, I, I just, I, I just, I, I, this would be a great opportunity for a Southwest commercial. You want to get away? I want to get away. All right, good people. Um, I will have more later on what our fearless leader, Stephen Jones, has to say about where the team is. They're shoveling some shit and want to know if you're buying it. Peace out.